Learn Excel from Mr. Excel Podcast, episode 2334, the stock history function. Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jelen. Well, something really exciting today, uh, June 10th, 2020, this debuted for what used to be called Office Insiders, is now called the beta channel of what used to be called Office 365 and is now Microsoft 365. A great new function, an array formula uh, that returns stock history. Check out this uh, syntax here equals stock history, the uh, stock symbol, start date, optionally the end date. If you don't put an end date in, they assume it's today. Oh, by the way, this is only end of day trading, not intraday. Use the stock data type if you need intraday. Interval is daily, weekly, or monthly. Whether or not you want the headers, and then what you want to return, and we'll take a look at those. All right, so uh, here, let's uh, let's try one of these. So I have a uh, uh, function up there for Zoom Technologies equals stock history. Uh, what stock do I want? I want the stock in A1. Start date. We can either put in a date like this, 1-1-2019, in quotes, or you can point to a cell that has a date. Uh, for the end date, I'm going to put in today, even though that's assumed. And then interval. Do we want daily, weekly, or monthly? I'll go with monthly. Headers. Uh, zero is no header. You might want to do that if you're sorting. One is show header, and then two is show uh, header and also the uh, the stock uh, symbol which we already have up there so I'll just go with show header that seems to work out and then check this out we have choices here six different numbers date close open high low and volume and you can choose the sequence you want those in all right so in my particular case um, I actually want date first uh, and then close and maybe volume uh, last all right so something like that and I press enter and I get this, all right, brand new error. We've never had this error, hashtag busy exclamation point. That means they're out collecting this data. Super frustrating, you can sit here and stare at this forever and it never comes back. And you're like, what's taking so long? Then finally you get frustrated and go work on some other worksheet. And as you start to work on other worksheets, you enter something which forces a calculation. And once you force the calculation, then those <laughs> come back. I don't know if that's by design or if that's a bug, I'm not really sure. Uh, but check this out. It is super cool. Now, as I mentioned, no intraday. All right, this is uh, at the end of the market close. So today, uh, here, we'll change this, change this to see instead of, we'll change this to daily. And again, you get the busy, All right, you just have to enter something somewhere and those dates come back, right? So today is late on June 10th, the market is closed and we go down here and it's still not reporting uh, the data for June 10th, right? So it's already 6.43 p.m. Jeez, the market's been closed for over two hours. Uh, so it's some amount of time. Uh, certainly tomorrow morning, it'll be there. Uh, so just be aware that it's at the end of the day. All right, interesting little tips here. You can force an exchange. So if I just put in MSFT, I'm gonna get Microsoft on the NASDAQ exchange. But if I want it on the Swiss exchange, I could ask for this XSWX. If you want to be really safe, make it into a data type here. And then I can use a little formula of equal E1.exchange to see this is the Swiss exchange. Also it works with exchange rates. And something that's really cool here uh, that array formulas never did when dynamic arrays were introduced is something called an FNV, formatted number value. So to check this out. If I'm converting USD to GBP, I'm getting pounds there. And Four functions, XLOOKUP, INDEX, IF, and CHOOSE will return the formatted value, which is really cool. When I change this from USD to CAD for Canadian dollars, it changes back to a dollar sign, and we are getting the dollar sign there. That is awesome. What is happening there? That's formatted as general. It's not changing the number format. It's something brand new. Uh, from Joe McDade and his team. All right, so I love this new stock history. Uh, you have to be on the beta channel or Office Insiders of the Microsoft 365. Microsoft 365. Hey, if you like these tips, please down there below the video, subscribe and ring that bell. Feel free to post any questions or comments in the comments below. Uh, my new book, Mr. Excel 2020, Seeing Excel Clearly. I'm gonna have to update this book for this great new stock history function. Click that eye in the top right hand corner for more information. I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.